Hi, my name is Megan Poff, and I'm the data chief at the USGS in Nevada. I started off my career with the USGS as a hydrologic technician. And when I took that job, I didn't know what a hydrologic technician did. So as I found out through the years, hydrologic technicians do a variety of work. It's field work, it's office work, uh, pretty much anything you can think of in, in support of collecting USGS water data is what our hydrologic technicians do. So a few of my colleagues are going to introduce what they are doing in the field. Hey folks, my name is Adam O'Prizek. I'm with the United States Geological Survey here in Washington State. I'm on the beautiful Puyallup River measuring stream flow. I'm using an acoustic Doppler current profiler today. This uses sound pings in order to measure water velocity and water depth. This particular station is important for flood warning. The National Weather Service uses this data in order to issue flood forecasts and flood warnings when necessary. My name is Bryce Redinger. I'm a hydrologic technician with the U.S. Geological Survey, and here I am off-roading to get to one of my gauges. The four-wheel drive trucks are a lifesaver out here. Here's another shot of me. I'm cleaning out my measurement cross-section at one of my stations. Uh, these plants block our stream flow measurement meters, and so making some obstruction-free water to measure in. I wish I could describe the smell here. It's uh, quite spectacular. Let's say uh, it smells very organic. But uh, yeah, we have a cross section, so we're going to let that clear. I'll walk you up to the gauge house. Here we go. Equipment. We had a bunch of uh, visitors early. Earlier, I, I, I nuked them, so don't worry. We're going to be fine. But, uh, yeah. Here we go. Once that clears out, uh, we'll go and uh, make a measurement. My name is Allison. I'm a hydrologic technician with the U.S. Geological Survey, Washington Water Science Center in Tacoma, Washington. And today I am at Rock Creek near Maple Valley, Washington, and I am calibrating this guy, this precipitation gauge. And what's happening right now is I've got my calibration bottle inside of this funnel here, and it's filled with a known amount of liquid. And there's a small nozzle at the end of the bottle, which slowly lets water drip down into the gauge. And we call this a dual tipping bucket rain gauge, meaning that there are two small buckets inside of this apparatus. And as one bucket fills up completely, it tips down and empties its contents, and the other bucket rises up and starts filling with water. And so each tip equates to a known amount of uh, rainfall, or in this case, just tap water. Uh, I have right here a digital counter that I've hooked up that will count every tip for me, so I don't have to do it manually. Each test, which I do about three times, takes about 30 minutes to complete, so I will be here for a while. Um, but that is essentially it. That is, that is a rain gauge, and this is just one of the small things that we do uh, in the USGS to further improve and communicate science and data to the public. Hello, my name is Steven Sissel. I work for the United States Geological Survey. I'm here in the beautiful, albeit rainy, Pacific Northwest in the New Whatcom Creek. Today I am charged with getting a velocity, a width, and a depth of this stream. With those three parameters, we can telemeter that data via the web. from this gauge house. These gauge houses are all over the country. They're on mountainsides, they're under bridges, they're everywhere, on farms. It's very vital that we share this resource 
with all. Just like this rain that's free, this river is free, so is our data. It's the only natural resource that is necessary for every biological process here on the planet Earth. Greetings, Earthlings. It's uh, Russell Sherman with uh, USGS, Washington Water Science Center. I'm here today at the Cowlitz River at Castle Rock Stream Gauge, uh, meeting with uh, scientists and technicians from the Oregon Water Science Center and Cascades Volcano Observatory to uh, do a recon for a new equipment install. We're looking at putting in an acoustic velocity uh, uh, profile meter and a uh, turbidity sensor, and we need to figure out where it's all going to go. So here's what the uh, site looks like. The stilling well behind me is uh, an old one built in the 1930s by the Civilian Conservation Corps. It's been abandoned since uh, uh, the Mount St. Helens eruption in 1980. Uh, the current stream gauge is on the opposite side of the river. And uh, you know, we're trying to decide whether we're going to try to rehab this old one or, or install something new.